A Norwalk family is searching for justice tonight. Their beloved Labrador shot with an arrow last week. He is on the men tonight, but as News 5's Taylor DeHayes explains, now the family wants someone to be held responsible. A story she's told a few times over the week. My daughter was home. She let him outside to go to the bathroom while she was feeding the other dog. Um, she let him back in because he was at the back door and he had an arrow all the way through his body. Tanya Shavy wasn't home when her dog was shot with an arrow. Her daughter buckled up and booked it to the nearest vet in Toledo where they removed the arrow in surgery. They pulled it out. Um, she missed his major organs by barely nothing. Now a week later, Tanya is still scratching her head, wondering what happened to her sweet boy. He's just a happy go lucky four year old black lab that likes to play in a pond and play with the kids and jump on the trampoline and just be a kid. The Huron County Dog Warden and the Sheriff's Office are investigating and have not made any arrests. They say the shooter could face up to six months behind bars. Where's your water? While Brutus is taking his medicine and aiming for recovery, Tanya is still trying to recover herself from the trauma. What if my daughter had been chasing him outside when they shot the arrow? Worrying about what could have happened that day. And that's my big concern. This really crosses a line. You know, if you can do this to an animal, that's not vicious, not attacking you, not anything. What would you do to a child? The family says Brutus is on target for a full recovery and he goes back for his checkup later this week. Live in the newsroom, Taylor DeHayes, News 5.